In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a TP-Link multi-gigabit switch. This is going to be a 2.5 gigabit 8-port switch, model TL-SG108-M2. In interest of full disclosure, this multi-gigabit switch was sent out to me by TP-Link, free of charge. As always, all the thoughts and opinions in this video are of my own. We are presented with an AC adapter, rubber feet, and the switch. Very straightforward. You have your eight ports in the front. Nice, good, slim design. A K lock, and there's the AC adapter port. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to utilize a wireless. TP-Link mesh router system that was also sent out to me by TP-Link and I'm going to integrate this switch into that system so we can get the full 2.5 gigabit throughput on the local area network. All right, so right here, I'm gonna take the modem cable Plug into Gigabit. I'm just going to turn it on and see if I can connect with my cell phone. Now the deco is completely set up for routing. I'm going to take the 2.5 Gigabit LAN switch. Alright, so I'm dealing with a little bit of a conflict in these big gigantic AC adapters here. So, what I am going to do is take and unplug this one. This one goes to the switch and then we will take and use this adapter that I have and plug this in here. Alright, so I'm going to go take a look, see how everything's running and then I'm going to rewire all this and better cable manage this What's kind of interesting is that I'm thinking that one is blinking orange here because it's a gigabit connection. So the 2.5 gigabit connections are blinking solid, or not solid, they're blinking green because there is that 2.5 gigabit LAN connectivity. Now I'm going to take and provide an uplink cable to the switch from the Deco using the included Category 6 cable that came with the Deco. I'm going to plug into the 2.5 gigabit port on the deco because my internet speed is not 2.5 so I don't need to use this port for internet I'm going to be using the 2.5 gigabit port on the deco for internal traffic which is going to be plugging into the 2.5 gigabit one of the 2.5 gigabit ports on the TP-Link switch And there we go, we have a green blinking light because we're going from one 2.5 gigabit port to another 2.5 gigabit port on the Deco. So you can kind of see the cable management here, it's not the best in the world. I was able to prop up the modem on its side here which provided a ton more space and then shift the TP-Link 2.5 gigabits per second switch 90 degrees so that the cables kind of stick out this way which allowed the Deco XE75 Pro to stand up straight up and down right next to it. So I was able to fit all three network components into this cabinet. If you'd like to check out how this cabinet was built, go ahead and check out the upper right hand corner of the screen. In addition to that, if you'd like to see some speed tests run against this switch, on the upper right hand corner of the screen you'll see a TP-Link TX201 2.5 gigabits per second PCIe network adapter that I used to run tests through that using this switch. And below that, if you want to check out some wireless speed tests, I also have the XE75E, I believe it is, which is also a PCIe adapter for wireless 6E, 6 gigahertz band adapter. 